In this video, I'm going to talk about how to manifest during blood moon. Hey, I'm Michael, and for a long time, manifestation wasn't working for me. It wasn't until I started following this formula that manifestation started to work for me. If you follow these steps, I promise you will see results. Are you ready? Good, then let's get started. Step 1. Choose what you want to manifest. When you decide on something specific to manifest, it's vital that you know exactly what you want to the specific thing in your life to be and when you're trying to just manifest something in 24 hours you also have to pick something you believe you can manifest in a day so for example there's little point in saying you want to start a new business in 24 hours unless you actually believe you can attain this goal in the next day however you may well believe that you can successfully manifest the next step in your journey to a new business in a day in which case you might set as your goal for example, to complete a business plan, get a loan you need, or find someone to collaborate with. When picking a thing to manifest, ask yourself the following questions. Do I really want this in my heart of hearts? How will I benefit from having this? When I think about having this, does it feel right? How will it be good for me and for others? Whatever you want should be for the greater good and something you want for yourself. Most likely, something that's a significant step on the journey towards a greater manifestation goal. So in short, decide what you want, really connect with the intention to have it, and believe that you will receive it if you ask for it. Manifestation step two is to get rid of things that stand in your way. Unfortunately, almost always there will be something standing in your way of success. Now this shouldn't scare you, this is just part of the whole process of manifestation. Keep an eye out for three for these three most common manifestation blocks. Number one is negative beliefs and mindset. If you are in a bad place emotionally, you need to first get yourself into the right mindset before you can successfully manifest anything. You can't be focusing on negativity and expect to attract good things into your life. So take some time to practice self-care. Try meditation and the different stress relief techniques. Right, another one will be toxic people. When you are working on manifesting your dream, you need to make sure no one is holding you back. People who don't believe in you always criticize you and complain about everything or blocks that will keep you from doing your best. Another one would be timing. Sometimes you just need to be patient. Everything you want will happen, but it will happen at the right time and for the right reasons. So if something isn't happening for you right now, it doesn't mean it never will. Keep believing and keep working on your goal. Sit back and think about how your manifestation process is going at the moment. Do you feel like you're on the right path or is something holding you back? Manifestation step number three is to visualize what you want. To manifest, you probably already know the basics of visualization and have at least tried to practice those techniques a couple of times. On your current manifestation quest, start by going somewhere that's quiet and private and spend just a minute on visualizing the thing you want. Now this is important. Pour all your energy and concentration into seeing with your mind's eye. Let, it, let all the good feelings about the object or outcome well up inside of you. This step works best if you do a multi-sensory visualization. If you can see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, it'll help improve the result. You want to try and make it as real as you possibly can. It's almost like you're already, it's already yours. Add as many details as you can and don't try to imagine exactly how the thing or outcome becomes yours. Instead, focus solely on the end result of receiving what you desire. Don't think about how your desired object or outcome will manifest and don't try to see it coming to you through any particular person or means. Your focus should be on the end result of receiving the thing of your desire. Manifestation step number four, take action to manifest what you want. You can spend the rest of your day pretty much living as you normally would. There isn't any particular action you need to take in order to make manifestation possible. Your intentions are what you will determine are what determine your success. Rather, once you've finished steps one and two, as described above, you are just waiting for what you want to appear. However, if you feel the urge to do something specific, whether it immediately makes sense or it's more of an intuition-based yearning, then consider following your gut and taking that action. If it feels natural, do it. If you find that you don't get the outcome you want within 24 hours or less, look back at the first two steps and go back through them. Now sometimes writing down what you want and some of the answers specific to the questions posed can give the universe the extra energy it needs to really fuel your manifestation. Now there are some common reasons why you might not manifest quickly. 
In particular, consider whether you're doubting the process. For example, do you either not believe you'll get what you ask for because you don't think you deserve it, or perhaps there's doubt whether it's possible to manifest that using the law of attraction. Any kind of negative feelings, for example, anxiety, worry, anger, and doubt, or negative beliefs can inhibit your results. Now, if you want to know if you're on the verge of manifesting, so you finish all of our manifestation steps and you feel positive and motivated, now what? Well, as long as you can hold on to this feeling and stay positive, focus on your goals and take some form of action, then you've done all you can. This means that you are on the verge of manifestation and there are some signs that you should look out for in order to know your manifestation is close. It may feel like nothing has happened after you've set aside time to really think and feel your manifestations, but that's only the beginning. These signs are likely to just appear to you, even if you aren't looking for them. There you have it, a formula that will dramatically improve your manifestation results. That said, there's an even faster way to manifest your dreams. If you click the link in the description below, it will take you to a page that goes more in detail about manifestation and how to take your manifestation to the next level. It's completely free to watch and it can accelerate your manifestation goals if you really put the effort into it. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.